comes a hunter. Yo, what's happening gamers? Thanks for tuning in you guys. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a crazy exploit to get as much iridium as your little hearts can handle. I'll be showing you guys exactly where to go and all that good stuff, but uh, we tried making this video before. I think I just made it a little bit too long, kind of explaining the, the last loot cave and everything. So today's video is going to be quick and to the point. I'm just going to kind of show you guys me running through it for about 10 minutes and show you guys my before and after, what I get and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys like the video. Uh, there's a couple of things we got to start out by saying, like, if, if you guys don't know what Iridium is in this game, it is a, a very important um, currency that you basically come in down here in the bottom of your sanctuary and you can buy these special weapons that are meant for your class, like your in particular class. You can get over here and uh, you buy, you like, spend Iridium to get like different skins, different heads, different uh, outfits and everything like that. Emotes, echo things, trinkets, weapons. So uh, it's a really important currency and this exploit is insane and it will be patched soon because we are taking... Uh, advantage of the fact that whenever you exit a game, so whenever you get out of a game, quick game, go to menu, and then come back in, uh, any chest that was on the main map, now not the main story mission chest, like if you beat a, a main story mission boss and he had a red chest behind him, that chest will not reset, okay? But if you if you beat just one of these like side mission bosses and uh, he had a little chest behind him, like the one I'm going to exploit here, you guys will see that it actually resets, uh, resets, resets every single time that you do this okay so you basically just keep resetting so that being said i want to make it i want to make it known you can do this exploit anywhere this does not have to be at uh you know this in particular location that i'm going to be showing you guys i think it's like conrad's conrad's uh landing or something like that but uh yeah you could do this anywhere just find a pile of iridium or a chest that you want to keep opening in next to a checkpoint and you guys are set man but let's jump right into this and i want to point out the fact too that if you guys have the ability to turn on mayhem mode i would definitely turn on mayhem mode because it gives you more uh, a better drop of money and of of uh of iridium plus you get better gifts when you open these chests all right but you don't have to have mayhem mode unlocked for this exploit to work great like i mean you can still get 600 plus an hour if you uh just do this the way that i'm about to show you as you guys can see i have nothing in my inventory we're sitting at 160 uh, uh exactly 160 iridium so let's jump into it the, the actual um exploit is going to be done at pandora you go to you go to Conrad's hold, but if you if you want to get to Slaughter Shaft, because that's next to the to the uh, loadout point or the the uh, checkpoint that we want to use. And then I think that there's a total of eight piles of iridium you can break open. They won't load in every time, but a lot of the time they will. So just go through there, and you'll see that uh, you'll see what I mean by this is a crazy place to get an iridium. I also opened three chests, and I'm only looking for golden weapons. But if you guys uh, do it, and maybe you don't have the mayhem mode unlocked yet, you won't get quite as many golden weapons. So just go ahead, run through it, get the chest if you want. But this is mainly for iridium man and this is the fastest way in borderlands to get uh iridium okay so get your hands on it now i'm gonna start out go to slaughter shaft and uh just go exactly what do exactly what i do man i'm not gonna be you know i'm gonna kind of show you guys where we want to go and what checkpoint we want to hit the first time and then we're just gonna fall back and farm the heck out of it all right and we'll see what you guys think about it so right when you load into slaughter's Slaughter Shaft, just go right out the door into Conrad's Hold, and you're going to want to head to the right, okay? Now, the more you do this, the more you're going to actually learn where the spawn points are for the Iridium. Okay? Don't fight any of these bosses. Just go right past them, all right? They're, they're pretty tough sometimes, so just, just run right past them. We're not going to try to fight any bosses with this. There's a spawn point here. It's not there this time. Sometimes it shows up there. There's a spawn point over there. Uh, not there this time. But again, as I show you guys my 10-minute speed run then you guys can decide. I always jump up here and just check over there. It's not there now. And if it's not there, then I turn. This is the first chest you open. Just do exactly what I do, man, and you guys can't mess this up, all right? Now, this is the exploit. This is the back end of the boss fight, okay? So up top there is a boss fight for a side mission, and his loot chest is right up there. So this big exploit is the fact that you can just jump up here and climb this. This is going to get patched. So just jump up here and climb up just like you do. Bust up this chest, see what you hide. just like that. Open up this chest. I do. I open up this one and this one. And now if it comes up as a gold weapon, I'll come back and get it. No gold weapon. Now I end it right here. This is going to be the last piece of Iridium that you want to grab. Don't fight that boss. He's too hard. Just stop the game, quit, and uh, reload. Quit to main menu. Go to play, continue. And now it's going to load a checkpoint right at the beginning. This is amazing because right when you turn around... Let's see this. One second here. 
Right when you load in, you just turn around. The first spot you want to check is right here. Look, under the steps. Always good, man. Now, again, they're not always going to spawn in. I just want to make sure you guys are perfectly clear on that. There's eight spawn points, and sometimes they spawn, sometimes they don't. But you definitely want to check all of them. So I checked over there to the left to make sure that the one on that side wasn't there. Now we're going to come back this way. But you guys can see how crazy this exploit is. I'm going to run this thing for ten minutes. It's over there, so I'm going to go that way. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys just how much you get in about 10 minutes worth of farming this plus I need to get some more skins anyway, but this essentially um, Is a is a great way to unlock every head in the game every skin every wrap uh, look at that golden weapons all through these chests you guys So if you're just in it to farm the weapons or whatnot, but uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good video man So sit back uh, check out this exploit. It will be patched soon because they don't want you climbing up to the back of this, this is, Like I said, there's we're just kind of cheating our way in here to get this chest, but uh, hope you guys like these Borderland videos. Make sure you guys stay tuned and smash that like button. Turn on those notifications. We uh, we got a lot more Borderland videos coming up, like how to earn cash, how to exploit certain other bosses and everything like that, man. But uh, yeah, this is a rinse and repeat kind of thing, so check out the live streams, baby, and we'll get into this 10 minute. I'm just going to grind it out, show you guys about 10 minutes of me farming, and we'll have some fun with it, all right, guys? So just do exactly what I do, and I promise you, you will get all those skins and everything that you want in the game. Let's go. Ready to go? <laughs> ah, you found a chest. <laughs> Crack you open. I can break this now. <laughs> Let them hear your rage. <laughs> 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 Come, friend, to me. Let's see what you hide. Yes, to the bloodletting! Ready for a fight? Let's see what 
Don't you hide. See what you hide. See what you hide. Welcome back, little friend. I like your enthusiasm, beast. I can shatter that crystal. Formidable obstacle. Ah, <laughs> uh, you find something for me?
Let me see what lies within. I missed you, little friend. Unbreakable. Let them hear your rage! Ugh. I believe I can break this now. All right, gamers, so that was about 10 minutes worth of farming. We're coming back now to kind of go over everything that we got real quick. Jump over here into the, the menu. We didn't get as many golden weapons as I usually do, or I, as I would have liked to, man. A lot of the time, uh, you get a lot more golden weapons out of that. But nonetheless, man, we're more in it for the iridium. And as you can see, we made almost 300 iridium, or uh, uh, almost 150, like 140, 130, in roughly 10 minutes, maybe a little over 10 minutes that it took us for that. But uh, if you do the math right there, man, that breaks down to over 600 plus an hour or 700 uh, an hour if you just grind it on it pretty hard. Or if, like I said, if you just want to take 10 minutes out of your day and run over and get that one, um, you know, skin you want, or if you want to get that one uh, certain Look head that you want out of the iridium shop down below, uh, this is the easiest way to do it, man, the fast way. And with that exploit where you can actually jump in and, har and farm that, that, that crate and that chest behind the, 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 the boss right there really makes this, you know, the best exploit out there right now for getting that iridium. But like I said earlier, man, make sure you guys uh, got your, your, your bank empty so that you can get all this extra gear that's left around. If you didn't pick anything up, it'll show up here like I missed that golden weapon right there. So we'll pick that guy up. And uh, yeah, just make sure that if you, know, if you guys want to buy out the item shop, do that thing for a couple hours and you'll have so much iridium you don't even know what to do with. Uh, or just you know have fun with it and, and uh, get it at your leisure. But I just wanted to share with you guys because they will patch it. Like You're not supposed to be able to climb up there and get into that boss the back way there. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys find. If you guys got any great iridium farms yourself or another great exploit you want to share with us, man, throw it down in the comments down below. We got tons more videos coming out to you. Stuff like, uh, you know, how to gain the fastest money, how to beat these bosses, how to cheese glitch a couple of things. So make sure you guys turn on that notification, follow us. And uh, yeah, till next time, homies. Awkward silence, man.